Hello. Welcome back. Now we do the actual factorization. And I expect this video to be very short because it's a combination of two concepts that we have already demonstrated. That is a factorization of grouping terms and um, the previous video where I talked about uh, the product sum and factors. So please, if you haven't watched those two, go back. You watch those two. That is when you are going to find that uh, this one will be very easier because I'm not going to emphasize those concepts as much as I did when I was presenting them. Here we'll basically talk about something that we already did. So we are looking at the last part of factorization. We have done all the four methods of factorization and this is the last one. Quadratic expressions. These are what we call quadratic expressions. These ones. These are what we call quadratic expressions. All right. So we what is the process of factorizing a quadratic expression? All right. What is the process of factorizing a quadratic expression? Okay. So let's get the first one. We are factorizing factorize a okay so this is the quadratic expression so what is required for us to um, factorize this expression we need to find the product the sum and then the factors okay we need to find the product sum and then the factors so how do we find the product how do we find the product how do we find the product so the product is going to be um, obtained by multiplying the coefficient of x squared or any variable that will be squared there. The coefficient of x squared, you multiply it by the constant. That is what is going to give us the product. The coefficient of x squared multiplied by the constant. So in this case, our coefficient here is 1. So this 1 has to be multiplied by 40. 9. So when you multiply 1 multiplied by 49, you get 49. 49 is our product. We come to sum. Sum, we just pick our sum. Our sum, we get it at the coefficient of that variable or the letter which is not squared. That is always our sum. So in this case, our sum is 14. If this is a minus, please don't forget to get it as minus 14. Okay? So in this case, our sum is 14. We're saying sum is the coefficient of that letter which is not squared. That variable which is not squared. So in this case, it's it. Alright? This is what we're doing. From there, now, pro I mean factors. And this is what I was saying. I may not emphasize as much as I did there because by now we know so we need now to find the factors and those factors will be 7 and 7 when you multiply 7 by 7 you get 49 when you add them you get 14 so now these factors we use the factors to expand the sum we use the factors to expand the sum our sum is this one here. So we have, okay, seven x plus seven x. We've used the factors to expand this to fourteen x. All right. Then at this point, we factorize these two, this expression using the grouping uh, term. 
method. So we look at what is common here. What is common is x. x, then we have x plus 7. Again, here when you come to this part, you look at what is common. What is common here is e plus 7. Plus 7, you have x plus 7. You see what I was telling you that this one will be just a walkover because it will be depending on what we have already done. Okay? So now, finally, we write our answer as what? x plus 7. x plus 7. This we have already done. This is how you factorize the quadratic expression. So you've seen, this is what I presented earlier, and this is what is also in another uh, method of factorization. So this is how you factorize the quadratic expression. This is what is required of us. Okay? Let's look at the, the next one. Let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one. Let's look at the next one. Okay. So for the next one, we have 2y squared plus 5y minus 3. Please, like I said, what is our product? The product is obtained by multiplying the coefficient of this letter that is squared. We multiply it by the constant. Take note of the sign. So we're going to multiply 2 multiplied by negative or minus 3. So here we're going to have this one. Alright? Our sum, I said the sum we just get there. The same thing, this I said it's like it's positive 5. So if this was a minus, we're going to get it as a minus there. Then we look at the factors. We look at the factors. Factors is something that we already talked about. So the factors here, we are looking at um, so we are looking at um, the factors here, we are looking at six and one. Okay? When you multiply these two, they'll give you 6. When you add them, they'll give you 5. Alright? That is very important. So these will be our factors. So, these will be our factors 6 and the negative 1. So we come now here. We expand them. Sum using the factors. So we're going to have 2y squared. This one we can start with this is a plus then this one minus y we're going to write it as y minus y which is the same as we can remove this one here then minus y there all right so then we factorize using the grouping method what is common here sorry what is common here is 2y. What do we remain with here? y. This side, 3. Okay? This we emphasized there. So we're going to factorize minus 1. Minus 1 is what is common there. Then we have y plus, take note of that. I think I did emphasize there. This sign changes because we factorize the negative. So the final answer is going to be y minus 2y minus 1, then y plus 3. Okay? This is the, what is supposed to be our answer. Let's consider the last example. As per our tradition, these ones are yours. Okay? Okay, let's look at the last one. 3 
x squared 5 okay our product 3 multiplied by negative 2 it's negative 6 our sum negative 5 all right the factors what are those factors okay what are those factors what are those factors we come back here what are those factors now that is the challenge so we should have negative one by one now it's the other way around negative six by one the factors of this six these are the ones so which one will have a negative and which one will have a positive that's the issue when you add these two they'll give you negative five when you multiply them they'll give you that one then we come back and expand them like we were doing we expand the sum using the factors so we have three x squared minus 6x minus here. Then this one is a positive. Because it's just 1, we're going to call it plus x. Then minus 2 there. You factorize here. What is common? 3x. 3x, you remain with x minus 2. What is common here? It will just be plus 1. x minus 2. All right? Um, then we get to write the final answer. We get to write the final answer. As, um, okay? So, as you can see, this is the end of the presentation. But this was supposed to you can imagine if I had not made that presentation for product, sum, and factors. So it has simplified our work. I hope you've gotten the, the point. We've got four examples that I mean four questions for uh, for a week. You can work them out. Otherwise, please these things you need practice. You can even go beyond this. You know sometimes examiners can be overzealous. They will give you something that may not be. But by and large, I think. Concepts have been covered here that you are expected to do in the exam. All right, so I'll be uploading this video so that please you watch any time that you are free. Okay, be it on the bus, what, wherever you are from. Okay, learning has been brought uh, brought closer to you. Whether you are in Livingstone, Sorezi, Chipata, Inirunga, or beyond the borders. As long as you are coming to write examination, council of Zambia exams, this is your presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Alright? Thank you.